Well, good morning. It's about 7.40. Go running right on time. We're gonna go check out this ghost town called Swansea in a pretty remote region of Arizona with the Jeep Club that we found. So let's do it. Newcomer radio check. We're good. We're good. This is a tire deflator. It's a good controlled method of releasing air from your tire when you go to air down for a Jeep show. You gotta hold it while you're turning. Only they can be a little complicated to understand how to operate, especially if you've never operated one before. This one's gotta go a little more. You gotta pull this back. But we just need a little hope from an old pro. Okay, you still got more valves than After a quick driver's meeting to get everybody on the same page, we were finally off on our way. But as you'll see, we didn't get too far. You want to do that low? Yeah, that's what he put it at, the yeah. back one. He's like, I'm at 15, so. Well, there's supposed to be some kind of like, uh, some kind of race. Mm -hmm. Cars like going 100 miles an hour. And so they're checking to see if we can actually gain access to... Well, they don't want us crossing the path where these people are driving really fast and then that yeah. could turn ugly really fast. Yeah, so there's a line of, of like 14 of us in this Jeep group. So hopefully we can get access to get to the ghost town. Mm -hmm. We're always gonna turn around. I thought it was the uh, air down tires. Well, we are getting turned around. They would not let us go through because it's not safe because these people are flying through at 100 miles an hour. We're not sure where we're going now, but I think we found another trail yeah. to go. There's a couple of people that dropped out, uh, but we're gonna go check out this trail and at least spend part of the day doing Jeep stuff. Yeah, going to a mine somewhere I think is the plan, but we may not know where this trail is taking us. So we will see how it goes, Let's see where we end up. So make a right at the fork. The entire area around Quartzsite is littered with old defunct mines. Most of them aren't fenced off, which I guess makes sense because we're 25 to 30 miles from anything resembling a city. This cave was purported to serve as General Patton's office during the large scale military exercises that took place here during World War II. And while it was fun to explore this side of history, we were eager to continue our journey. Maneuvering the Gladiator over some of these obstacles can be a little challenging due to the longer wheelbase. This scratch that you hear coming up is the skid plates on the bottom of the Jeep. We'll go ahead and let this play out in real time. What's scraping? Yeah, it's the middle. I mean, you just gotta keep going. Okay, 
the clear. Well, we made it out of, that was crazy. Seven and a half hours on the trail? Seven and a half hours, yeah. On a, in a seven and a half hours to go 14 miles. But I feel like we started a different trail before we ended up on the main one. Yeah, because we got turned around at that. Yeah. I don't think we went very far on that though. Uh, but I don't know, that was cool. That was that we learned cool. a lot. We learned how to use the tire deflator thing. Mm -hmm. We learned what the Jeep was capable of doing, and it's capable of doing way more than we ever thought yeah, possible. More than we gave it credit for, for sure. Yeah. Got some scrapes. Still the hitch. Got some pinstripes. Got a lot of scrapes on the bottom. But I think it was worth it. Yeah, came out in one piece. One piece. Now we're ready for the next one. Yep.